schizophrenia is a hell of a drug. Anyway, I'm Zeos Pantera, the host of In Ear Fetish, and we're here with, um, we're here to get tipsy, brah, brah. Have you heard of the tipsy, handmade, T.T. Romzo, Pinestone C, feeling a bit tipsy? Like, what is life? So I went to the old, uh, the I Am shelf now contains both new and old things. I don't know if something's from three years ago or something's from last week. Well, I can't remember if it's last week. I remember this is an older one, though, because I haven't had an air freshener come in an I Am in, a, in quite a while. It's an S. For tipsy. It smells like cheap men's cologne, by the way. It is not great. I opened it up to smell it on the unboxing forever ago, and it's going right back to fuck in here. I don't want any part of that. Um, it also comes, we'll, we'll get to the item in a second, but I want to get through the accessories. You've seen the box. It comes with two really, really nice pieces of cardboard. This one's got like a texture pattern on the back of it. Everything's in Chinese. I don't know what any of these are. Um, just, just enjoy them. Oh, wait, the English is here. Sincerely, thank you for purchasing the product. Hope you'll be satisfied with the product and services you purchased. Whole serious... Whole with a W, series of products are carefully made by professional craftsmen with high quality craftsmanship. Okay, cool. We got a little tipsy bag, which actually is, I accept this, because it's one of those like nice like waterproofy bags, so that's good. You got a little bag of tips, you got two foams and some silicones. Oh, and you got the, the tipsy uh, microfiber towel, which doesn't even feel microfiber, it just feels like a towel. So you got a tipsy towel. Um, these IEMs, are schizophrenic because there are songs I fucking love them on and then there are songs oh my god I missed that get the tips a piece of paper with, with the gold and then there are songs that I'm bored out of my fucking mind and then there are songs where it's too sharp and then there are songs where the bass literally I feel it in my bowels these are a single 12 millimeter DLC dynamic that's it just just huge dynamic huge dynamic Wayfaring Stranger by the Wayfaring Strangers this sounds amazing vocals clear big strong we got good sound stage like it's good it's an audiophile bullshit song love it sounds great moving along Juno Reactor Ner Nar Narva I'll open up here on the speakers first now we'll do it on the IMs. Wait. <laughs> Big, aggressive, um, low end hammer. I can kind of tell the low recording quality of this song, which is strange because I don't usually consider Junior Ranch a low recording quality, but I believe. Like, it doesn't sound like an audiophile album. Moving on. Next one. Kiz Niver. Ooh, that was a good little, like, creak. There was, like, a chair creak, and it was, like, perfect. There's this ever-looming presence that there is a huge 12-millimeter dynamic making this sound. It does um, remarkably well on the highs for some things, and for other things, it sounds dull. Pessimistic Time from Code Gase. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a honk syndrome going on. I had a song come on before. I was dicking around through the Dead Mouse, just straight Dead Mouse, nothing but Dead Mouse, because it sounds amazing with Dead Mouse. And then it changed over to something that was like classical music that we started with, and it was like, you know, this is okay. It's just okay. These are $90, by the way. I want to point that out because that's a very rare, almost the rarest of prices for an IM. You will find an endless $80 supply of IMs followed by an endless $100 supply of IMs. Rinkos are in there. You got the Aria Snows and like the $80. But, but the, then these show up at $90 and everyone's confused. Well, are they better than the 80s but worse than the 100s? I don't know. Um, what are we on? Turn breaks? So on. Okay, so this... That's pure right channel guitar. 
smooth. See, I just sound this song sounds great. Sounds smooth and luxurious and spacious. Actually, no, I take back the spacious part. This sounds like someone was playing guitar in an IM in my ear. Usually a negative, so I gotta give it as a negative. It's way too like it should be further away, but again, it's a single dynamic, and it usually is my favorite fucking choice. See, I don't think these aren't worth $90. That's the thing. It's like, look at them. First of all, beautiful fucking finish. You got the LNR, you got the blue, you got the TT Ramso printed on there. I've got the, I got them currently in um, Sedna Fit Elastics. We'll swap these out uh, for these guys right here. Wait, did I do the wrong thing? I did the wrong thing. We're swapping them out for my render tips all the tips i try by the way are in the description in case you want to uh get the set for yourself very small i want to point out they have a very small opening there considering this is a huge 12 millimeter dynamic and that's it the im is i'd say slightly large it's kind of like they could have made it smaller but they didn't the opening out of the actual nozzle is kind of tiny but it fits my im tips just fine it's really comfortable they're extremely light the wire itself has this heat shrink here down to two fabrics, two fabric cables. Are these the same length? Yeah, I'm not crazy. Um, little split, two fabrics are in the twist form, and it goes down to a 3.5 millimeter, and it says tipsy on the end of it. You'd think because it was called tipsy, you'd just get a ton of tips. I don't know what the, what the purpose of it. These are kind of unique. They got the blue and the dark... Uh, Silver, that, by the way, the uh, the slider thing just literally will slide end to end. It's so smooth. Let's try them with the render tips and see if that makes a big difference. Oh, also, I give a little advice. Don't have music playing when you're seating an IM for the first time. Because you don't want to hear it and then, like, you haven't sealed it. You want it to be in, set, fixed release, and then give it a minute. Let the tips warm up. If it's foam, it'll soften, it'll expand, whatever it's doing, and then dial in the music. Baby Boy from Childish Gambino. You hear that bass kick? You feel that bass kick? I hear that bass kick. I feel that bass kick. I was going to call these a one-trick pony, but there's they have more than one trick, and they're not really a pony. They're more like a Clydesdale when it comes to low-end. Swapped them back into this one. You know, I don't hate these. It's just that every song sounds different. Every genre sounds different. They have different strengths depending on what's playing. There always is that looming presence of like, hey, hey, hey. It's a giant 12 millimeter. Very long, large driver. And then it comes in with highs that you're like, I didn't expect it could do that with like one single 12 millimeter driver. Then again, if you think about it, a 12 millimeter dynamic in an IM is still smaller than most tweeters on speakers ever, so. It's enjoying, I'm enjoying the shit out of it with, with that. With, with that Evangelion song. Now, I don't know. It's got this like weird. The bass is a lot, but it's not like super high quality. It's just a lot. It's like, hey, what do you got in the back of your Honda Civic? Lots. All of lots. Lots of what? I don't know. Fucking some brand. It's doing a thing. I want to give these a recommendation because of their comfort and because of the, well, the name is called Tipsy. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be upset by buying these. Ooh. Do you, you know what? These are Tarantino IMs. These are absolutely Tarantino IMs because that song from True Detective, uh, Kingdom of Heaven by T-Bone Burnett, that is the old school, like, big dirty bass and these are perfect for a big dirty bass and like recessed vocals and just 
Because if you feed them smooth jazz, they work great. When you throw them complicated shit, complicated modern stuff is not their best handling. Thomas Dolby Airwaves. Yeah, it's a little shouty there. A little. When you throw complicated mixes at them, they get a little shouty. But when you keep when you keep them relaxed, you give them something. You give them that one note, like I need to listen to bass drum, bass drum, bass drum, bass drum, bass drum. They're fine. Or this here. That is Ludov Ludov Ludovko Anudi Uno remix from Divinair. If it's open and spacious and wide in the music, then they sound open and spacious and wide. If it's complicated and complex and compressed, they sound complicated and compressed. It's pulling off those fucking string bones. It's it's pulling that off perfectly. Wait. Rap song. Don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. This is Eric Sermon. Maintain. So I could I could groove with this. I can groove with this. Not the clearest vocals when again when it's a complicated when there's a lot of stuff going on it it's sort of like that big driver's trying to do a lot and I don't think I pull it off. I wouldn't say they're one note, even if they are one note and they're all about that low end. It does it okay. Like if you're gonna play one note, play one note to satisfaction. I wonder how these would be for gaming fun gaming because with a driver that big and pretty easily power handling and you really don't need like bass quality with a lot of gaming like it's just going to be like explosion hey what are you playing I'm playing this game where I pull this trigger and then explosion so I think this would probably be good for that let me put on my um my one test thing squad Squad Realistic War Sounds. All that wind. See, this is what you haven't been hearing when I do Squad Realistic War Sound testing. This is actually audio ripped from a YouTube video. If you look up Squad Realistic War Sounds, that's what you should find it. The Game Squad has an amazing sound engine, which is why this is like... Hey, how is this with gaming? I put this on, I listen. Do I hear where the location of the bullets are? Are the explosions too bassy, too unclear? Does it crackle? Does it break up? Yeah, you know what? I don't test enough IMs for with this track. I'm getting like the wind noise. You could you could hear the wind noise. That that's constant like low end. But then, like, those shots are fast and detailed, and bam, bam, bam. Yes, okay, let me lower the fuck out of all of these things. They're interesting. All you gotta be on this channel is interesting. I will give you a fucking pass. You are interesting. You got the color scheme going on with the green and the blue. I didn't even realize, subconsciously, I picked these things. Um, I, I like them. I changed tips. I didn't mention what the tips did. More more of whatever that's what the render tips always do it's just more of whatever you're into it just exacerbates it i won't give these like a like a no don't buy them because they're just they vary wildly wildly i'd have to probably i could probably sit here for five hours just put together a specific oh do you want your tipsy life playlist and i could make a tipsy life playlist and every song on it would be fan fucking tastic and then other songs would just be like eh, let's do a weird shit so yeah, no, if you're interested in being a Tipsy Life uh, supporter, uh, click the link in the description. If you're interested in that wallpaper, click the link in the description that goes to the wallpaper hoard. If you're interested in this channel staying alive and doing things, check out my Patreon and subscribe star. Um, yeah, that's it. Support the channel, support the wallpapers, support artists. I haven't switched all to AI yet. I could, 
then her hands would be more fucky than they are because real artists can actually draw. Um, yeah, good. I'm good. You're good. We're good. Mousepad's good. We'll see you next time.